So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Faceware Studio and having it work with Unreal Engine's MetaHuman. Now, before you start this, go ahead and clear any files, Faceware sample files you had because they actually updated this last week uh, as far as getting it to work. It is so easy. Faceware is doing a good job keeping up with the changes that MetaHumans is going through. And, and I know some of you guys were asking me how to get this to work and I know some of y'all are having issues. So we're going to go ahead and break that down right now. If you go to Faceware Tech, it's going to take you to this main uh, web page. Go start animating, click on that. And then you're going to download this MetaHuman Blueprint Mo Motion Logic. Now, if you don't have Faceware Studio, go ahead and check out Feeding Wolves' channel, this video right here, because she has a coupon to get it for free, and I have a coupon for it as well to get it for free. But this video right here is going to teach you how to get Faceware and Glassbox for MetaHumans for free. So watch this. It's going to teach you how to install the entire thing. Okay, so we have here the Faceware MetaHuman Motion Logic sample. It's going to move it here, and I'll extract it here so you can see it. Okay, so it's going to be right here. Once you extract that, you can have this content folder. Now, in Unreal Engine 4, I created a brand spanking new project here. Now, as far as in installing it, I already have it installed in my plugins. Like I said, go watch her video how to install it. I'm just showing you how to get this to work. I'm going to copy my plugins in Live Link Client. Okay, so all I get to do is copy those two files into my Faceware project, paste it here. And that's going to install the plugin. And now what I'm going to do is close the project and just reopen it back up. And then Live Link Faceware should be in there now. So we have our new project here, brand spanking new. Nothing is in here. No plugins are installed. So the next step is going to be getting our meta humans in here. Okay. So go to the bridge and you're going to see all my characters. You've probably seen majority of these guys already for my movie. So we'll just pick a... Uh, Vivian 2 right here and then actually no I don't have to download that so let's look at Vivian 1 we'll export that and it's going to take it straight to Unreal Engine 4 so you can see that's going to start importing because that's connected to bridge which is kind of sick it's one click away but we are going to have to restart our uh, Unreal Engine 4 here because I'm going to have to enable some plugin okay so we're back in our project here and I'm going to change the camera speed and now we have a MetaHumans folder where Vivian is. Now all you have to do here, go ahead and create a child blueprint class. It's loading for a second. Let's give it some time. Let's create a child blueprint class so you don't have to mess around with your original just in case. And let this compile some shaders as well. So let's go ahead and drag and drop Vivian child. All right, so now I usually use the uh, sequence recorder, but I know that's going away. So I'll show you guys how to do it in the take recorder. So if you go to the right side right here, add a new component, click on Vivian, your MetaHuman, and then type Faceware. It should be right there. And all you have to do is go ahead, get all this done. Configuration right here, and just type in edit, editor live stream. Okay, and just make sure that this address right here is the same as your Faceware Studio. So let's go right here. Should be all set up. Port 802. Same thing here. Right there. Port 802. And the, the address, I don't even change. I leave it as is. Okay. And then the next thing you need to do is click on the BP again. Go to Face. And change this Adam class to the uh, Faceware MetaHuman face. And really, that's it. So if I go to like simulate right here, all right, and then I go to my studio. Now this is going to be lagging because it's difficult for one computer to stream both of these. So I have a sample video here. Let me go ahead and load up this video right here, which is the redo of my uh, Hamlet soliloquy. Calibrate that to neutral post and it's going to snap in. I have professional head cam. I flipped it vertically because obviously when I have my helmet, it's upside down. So it's kind of nice. And if I go to streaming panel, click on standard. I'll turn on the browse, eyes, mouth. I don't do the head because I get that from the motion capture suit. Okay. And then click on stream to client. Do not forget this. This is like the number one thing that I miss all the time. Stream to client and I'm going to press play. And then whenever you go to Unreal... I'm going to press stop and then simulate again. 
There you go. It is a little laggy because, like I said, I'm also capturing here. Pay attention to this right here. You see that tracking FPS? I'm getting 20, 23, 20, 39. You definitely don't want that dropping. You want that at least 30. But like I said, it's really slow because I'm capturing here. And this is a raw video. It's not, it's like 4K. You really want 720p in here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this for now. So it shouldn't be lagging like that in your system if you're just watching. So if we go to Windows, Cinematics, let's grab a take recorder. Grab Vivian right here, and I'm going to drag and drop her right here. Now, if you go to the actual blueprint, you can scroll down. You can actually turn off a lot of these things here. So if I go down, go to body, you can actually turn off the body and just turn on the face right here. I'm going to simulate that, and I'm going to press record. Oh, this is going to kill my computer, so this is probably not going to be real time, guys. All right, I'm going to stop it, and it's going to do its thing. Take recorder is done, and let me go ahead and stop this right here. And then what you need to do is go to cinematics so you can find your take. Now, I usually hide the BP that I just used because it's going to duplicate it. So, actor hidden in game. Now, double click right here, and if I press play here, you'll now see that facial movement. And that is how you get it in a sequencer. Additionally, if you create a new cinematics, save whatever, and then you get Vivian back in there, just make sure you change the face blueprint back to the regular one. So it should be like face and in blueprint. You can track her in a sequencer. Delete the meta human rig in the face. If you go here and track the face in the animation, you're actually going to see that thing you just recorded right here. See? So now you can add a camera in there, change the focus. So it's pretty cool because you, you're not stuck to that sequence whenever you use a take recorder. You can use the same exact take. You can use that same take in a different sequence. And I actually suggest for you guys to, and girls, to record and stream your facial animation in a blank map like this, and then go to your map level where your environment is, and then load the animation this way. Because you can see I'm getting 120 frames per second in here. It's so much faster to capture, facial capture right here, and then just transfer it to another map level. Well, hopefully that helped you guys out. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys can get this to work. It's really easy. Faceware, like I said, is trying to keep up with the changes that's happening with meta humans. I don't see it slowing down, but I'm hoping they can keep up with it so far. They've been doing a really great job with coming up with blueprints. I mean, really, it was like, what, copy and paste, and that's pretty much it. But like always, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later. So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 4 using the new MetaHuman characters, but don't know how to do it? Well, I got the video just for you.